To Irv or to Herv? That's the question. Thanks, Guy, for asking. So, in general, in Colorado, we're going to want ERVs unless we've got an open hot tub or a big greenhouse. This is a uh, summer animation kind of shows you inside of the Zender core what goes on sort of in a humid situation. Uh, as you'll see right there, those droplets are exchanging and some of them are getting returned back inside. See how that diffusion works there? So the water actually dries out, gasifies into the incoming fresh air. So it, it drops out the smelly parts or those green particles you saw. Let's scroll back just a little uh, because in an HRV, whatever is coming in is pretty much all of the outside humidity. So if there's a 30% delta, then most of the humidity will be dropped down the drain. That's if it's humid, but it's not really that humid in Colorado ever. So what you'll see is that the ERVs are more dominant um, all throughout the states. They're better in hot, humid climates. They're better in cold, dry climates. Uh, they seem like they're less efficient, but what the reality is is that you're getting that um, ERV core is taking that enthalpy exchange. So right there, the temperature is being held by the humidity. So in Colorado, of course, uh, that's going to be great. So you definitely want an ERV guy. Thanks for asking.